Harvey. Hey, Harvey, I can barely hear you. Hey, Robert, it's Harvey. Can you hear me now? Yeah, but you're pretty far from the distance. Oh, Jesus, wait a minute. Let, it, let, let the engineers fuck with this, you know? Bear with us. Jesus Christ, technical difficulties. It, it always happens with me, man. I can't work my way out of them. It's my <laughs> wife that hates me so much, I can't even yeah, wash the dishes. There's a problem with that shit, too. Yeah, but you got the ability to, to solve problems like that. You just don't want to. What, do what, what makes you think I have the ability to solve problems like that? I'm looking. If I can drive a car, you can. <laughs> I just don't want to. You're right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, start from there. You're right, Harvey. Where's the wisdom over there? Yeah, well, what do you think? I've just been sitting out over here vegetating or something? Go ahead. Talk more so if you want to. Because we got uh, 200 minutes. I mean, 200 you know, minutes? You don't have to use it, but it's only 12 cents a minute. How often do I get to talk to you? So what, what does this have to do with the fucking opera libretto? I, uh... Well, the, oh, I wrote an opera libretto in, in which I, I, you know, said that the uh, opera, I, I mean, you know, like I, I said that it was, you know, avant-garde artists have a really hard time making it these days you know they gotta have day jobs and everything like that yeah and, sure and I, I pointed and i pointed out this one guy who's a musician who's got to teach you know high school uh, mathematics and um i said um i said well, you know if you're not appealing to the to the masses if you can't sell your shit to the masses then yeah, you gotta have a day job. If you wanna do some kind of weird esoteric art that's not very commercial, fuck you, keep your day job. You know, that's that's what as it should be. It's, it's the balance of things. I, I'm i sort of a, a conservative when it comes to like uh, doling out money for the arts, like government arts programs, because you get these bureaucrats who dole the money out, and they, the way they judge things is so lame and half-assed 99% of the time that money goes to the wrong people, goes to the people who are good at hustling grant money, not that necessarily the, the really substantial, interesting artist who's living in a, a cheap room somewhere and doing his own stuff, it's just, you know, so in that regard, I, you know, probably considered right wing, <laughs> but, um, well, you always were like that, so, I mean, you know, not right wing, but about I'm, art. I'm a, I'm a self-made man as far as my, right. my art goes, you know. Right. I, but I always thought somewhat in commercial terms, not entirely, but, you know. Well, you gotta eat, man. Harvey. Hey, man. Hey, hey. What's happening? What do you Can say? Come in? What do you say? <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm looking for you, man. I want to tell you what Herschel Evans told Lester Young. What did he, he tell him? Said, he said, dig this. He said, why don't you play alto, man? You got an alto tone. To which Lester replied, I play from my brain, man. Not my gut. <laughs> Dig that. I feel the same way sometimes, actually. Ah. Well, speaking of, actually, I, uh, when we were talking, I told you I'd bring over that piece that I composed that I wanted to play for you. Yeah. You feel like checking it out? Yeah, go ahead, man. I got it on a tape. Oh. You have a tape player around here? Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. Yeah, there it is. How do you like that? Yeah, pop it in. <laughs> wait a minute. This is going to... I'll press every button here. Oh, it's here. <laughs> oh, it's here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too good mechanically. <laughs> okay, all right. That's close enough. <laughs> you got it turned down there? Yeah, I got it. That's all right. Yeah, let's okay. see if I can get it going. Yeah. You guys from Lakewood, you know what to do. Sure. 